And from your experience, how common is it for people's lives to be prolonged or saved by clinical trials? Look, increasingly, um, it is very common. Uh, many of my own patients have been placed on trials which have really lengthened their lives. Uh, and, and that is a not uncommon uh, consequence of the type of drugs that we test now in clinical trials. They're designed to be very targeted. They target particular abnormalities in a person's tumours. They don't have the same broad spectrum of side effects often that some of the traditional chemotherapy that we're used to has had in the past. So people's lives can be prolonged. They can live a much better life uh, and in many cases a much longer life. That is good news. And how important is it for Australia to attract doctors, scientists and, and researchers to discover cancer cures in Australia? Look, it's, it's critically important, as you know. And, and in fact, this collaboration is on the back of a, a, one of our trainees who's now an oncologist at New, in New York at Memorial Sloan Kettering. But even today, we've had trainees that are here with us from Singapore, from Vietnam uh, and, and uh, other parts of rural New South Wales. It's these sort of people who we need to have training the future doctors and nurses and clinical trialists of the future to enable more people to be fast-tracked onto these clinical trials. It's not good enough for us to know that clinical trials are open for patients in North America to then find that they're not open to us here in Australia. So we need people's support. Uh, we really need people's support. We, we look to people, if they wish to support us, to reach out to the North Foundation, who is our charity partner, and in doing so, enable us to have more of these tri trials open in the future. Well, you talk there about collaboration. How critical is that to get different organisations, uh, the government, the health sector, supporting this, this one particular cause to find a cure? Well, collaboration is, is, the name of, is the word of the day, really. We've had people from the health department, both the Commonwealth and the state health departments here, as well as our international colleagues, um, it's only through that collaboration that we're going to be able to attract the numbers of patients that we need into these trials to get meaningful results. You'd understand that in the case of rare tumours, it's not possible for a single centre anywhere in the world, whether it be Sydney or New York, to attract enough patients to enter into these trials. We need people to collaborate, um, not only across state borders, but across international borders to achieve our goals.